Curiously, there are self-described vampires still living in the world today, and they're not rampaging through the Carpathian Mountains in Eastern Europe. They live in Slough, to the west of London, and their names, Arrow Draven and Leah Benninghoff. There's vampires everywhere. Vampires can be doctors, nurses, solicitors, bank managers, mechanics, someone working in a local supermarket, your friends, your family. We could be anyone. When I first saw that he was a vampire, it was very interesting. I was like, OK, didn't know there was actually proper real vampires out there. I've always hoped there was. And to finally meet one was actually very interesting to finally get to know what it really is and everything, what the lifestyle's like and everything like that. There is that whole erotic sense of vampirism and drinking each other's blood, that kind of intimate connection to it, but really there's no benefit from it. It basically goes through your body and then it's expelled. There's no actual health benefit to it and actually it could be dangerous if you're taking high levels of blood into your system because you could overdose on iron. But in terms of blood transfusions, that's different. I mean, obviously that's a necessary medical procedure. There is a benefit to that, but that's a completely separate issue than drinking blood. Leah says that she can remember the exact moment that Arrow turned her into a vampire and she drank human blood for the first time. He turned me into a vampire. It had to be at night at 3 a.m. in the morning, the witching hour. And really, it all consisted of he drank my blood, and then I drank his blood, like a sort of a cycle feed. The vampire culture has um, people we call we class as donors, who are people who willingly allow us to feed from them. So, like I say, there are some, I'm sure, out there who would try and take it by force, but most of us believe in, you know, respecting other people's wishes, other people's bodies. We don't do anything to harm others or, you know, even for, whether it's for our own benefit or anything else. 